Hello everyone! Welcome to this game! So, as some of you are aware, I am a huge fan of transformation. And because of that, I have been super duper looking forward to this game. I mean, the premise is, you wake up to find you've been turned into a Pokemon. Heck yeah, sign me up! Now, this here will be a blind playthrough. I have never played through this game before, and in fact... I have very little experience with Mystery Dungeon games in general. I basically played through the first dungeon of the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I've also played a little bit of Everybody's Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. The reason why I haven't actually played through either of those is because I didn't actually own them. But, I own this one, and I am ready for my first full Mystery Dungeon adventure as a Pokémon. By the way, the screen didn't glitch during that opening, did it? I am hoping it did not glitch during that opening. By the way, I am streaming this at this very moment at Twitch, which is why I am asking people how the quality was during that opening. For some reason, my capture device, if it sits on a black screen for too long, it freaks out because it doesn't know if it's receiving a signal or not. So I hope that it was not terrible. Anyway, black screen. But it's a short one. Ah, at last I get to do this. Welcome! This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokémon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Okay, so this here is going to be a quiz that determines what Pokemon I wind up becoming. I am in fact going to answer them sincerely. Ideally, I'm going to wind up as a Bulbasaur, because my favorite Pokemon is Nidoran Female, but Nidorans are not an option for what Pokemon you get to be. So Bulbasaur is the next best choice because it is also a poison type Pokemon and is, is also a Pokemon that walks on four legs and I think that sounds kind of fun. Are you ready? Okay, let the interview begin. You notice a wallet on the side of the road. Turn it into the police. Yay, yay. Is anyone watching? Hmm. <clears throat> well, my first thought is, is anybody watching? I'm going to pick it up and see if anybody tries to claim it. You receive a gift, but you don't know what's in it. You're curious, so what do you do? Well, they didn't say I had to wait, so of course I'm going to open it now. It is a pleasant day at the beach. How do you feel? Well, I'm not interested in falling asleep at the beach, but I don't want to go home, so this feels great. Have you ever made a pitfall trap? Yes. A foreign person has started up a conversation with you. To be honest, you don't have a clue what this fellow is saying. How do you reply? Haha, uh -huh, yes, very funny. Um, could you say that again? Right, well, I gotta go. I've actually been in this situation. I try to communicate with them. Basically, let them know I don't understand them, but that's not necessarily an option, so the closest to that is... Could you say that again? Uh, 
Do you like to imagine things for your amusement? Well, I don't like to imagine things for my misery. Somebody calls you weird but funny. How does that make you feel? Happy. A delinquent is hassling someone on a busy city street. What will you do? Well, certainly wouldn't help without hesitation. Ah, uh, this is one of those tough ones. A part of me wants to help even if scared. I'm not gonna call the police because I feel like by the time I do, it'll be over. And the police will show up to nothing. I'd probably do nothing out of fear. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? Well, obviously a girl. You appear to be... The impish type. Oh, I thought you were just about to tell me what I was. But no, you're telling me what my traits are. You're playful, cheerful, and you love pranks. Yeah, kinda. You're also kind-hearted. Sure, w w yeah, I, I don't want to brag about it, but I try to be. That's why the people around you find you so irresistible. You must be the most popular person around. Uh, not really. I mean, I wouldn't mind a bigger audience at Twitch or YouTube or both. Oh? You're not that popular? D d d d no! Uh, no, not- no. Not really. You're either being modest, or you just don't notice it. I bet people are just too shy to let their feelings be known. There's someone out there who's afraid to declare their love for you. Okay, I am happily single. An impish pers person like you should be... The Pokemon Cubone. Well then, I said I was gonna hope for Bulbasaur, but Cubone was up there on the list that I would be interested in being if that is what the game wound up choosing for me. So, I guess I'm a Cubone now. I was a little bit hoping that I'd wind up on all fours, but I am not, I'm not going to be disappointed in this. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Who will you be your partner? So this one, I actually have to choose it myself. This is going to be a bit more of a difficult choice. I do like Eevee. Eevee's one of my favorites. Maybe somebody else on my team could be a Bulbasaur, but nah. Since I'm not going to be a Bulbasaur, that gives me every reason to eventually recruit a Nidoran onto my team. So, nah. You know what? It would be an odd choice. But let's go with a Meowth as my partner. Should your partner be a boy or a girl? I I have to choose what they are, huh? Um Uh, let's both be girls. So, girl me off, right? Sure. 
What is your partner's nickname? Oh, I have to choose that as well? Well, it's not gonna be Meowth. Let's go ahead and... Okay, any suggestions? Are there any suggestions in the chat for a name for my partner? Stripe Pack says Kitty. Any less generic names for my partner? Oh, right! That's right! Pinky's pointing out that I had a Meowth in my team in Pokemon Silver Randomized, and her name was Catfish. We got the return of Catfish. Is Catfish all right for a nickname? Yes. Are these two all right? Yes. Okay, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Oh, I am so excited. Go for it. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please, wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake! Great! Uh. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Catfish. Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Huh? You say you're a human? But you look like... A normal Cubone in every way. Okay, love that animation. I am a little curious what the animation is whenever you look around yourself on four legs, but... Hey, I have a bone in my hand. Oh gosh, I have a skull on my head. Tap, tap. It is true. I have turned into a Q-bone. But why? I don't remember anything. Um... You're kind of weird. No, oh, thank you. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... Definitely not Cubone. So Maddie says, Holy cow, Erica, that's straight up my team. <laughs> In my attempts at playthroughs of the Rescue Team games, I always went Cubone Meowth. Huh, interesting. I promise you this was not intentional. Is Erica okay? Well, yeah, it's my name, so yeah. Oh, Erica's your name? Well, isn't it a funny name? Okay, that, that part is not making me happy. Somebody, please help me! Huh? I hear shots from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fizzer opened in the ground, and my Caterpie fell in. 
He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be getting enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? No, oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Okay, normally don't like confrontations, but um, this is not about confrontations. It's about rescuing a lost child, so... Yeah, we'll do this. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It's a mystery dungeon! A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Erica. Yeah, I don't like confrontations, but if I have to fight... Oh well, if I'm fighting, at least I'm a Pokemon that's fighting. I'm gonna make use of this club bone I've got in my hand. Okay, walking. Walking is walking. Use moves. Use a move with A. Hi! I win! And I've been hit. First day as a Pokemon, and I've just been attacked by a worm. Caterpillar thing. I've got some good attacks on hand. I don't know how I'm doing them. It's just kind of instinct to attack like this. Stairs. Okay, no items anywhere. Would you like to go on? Of course. Okay, I'm yellow, teammates are green, items are blue, enemy Pokemon are red, stairs are white. I know that there's a way to choose what attacks you use, but I'm just letting the game kind of teach me how to play. Money in this world. Poke is the money of this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. Well, what else would money be used for? Well, I guess points. Points would be a purpose of money, I guess. Restore HP with an Orem Berry. Get an Orem Berry to restore some HP. To eat one, press X to open the X menu. And then select Bag. I don't need to heal yet. I don't think there's any items over there, so... I'm trying to decide whether I want to control this with the analog stick or the directional buttons. Press L for auto mode. Out of curiosity, where will auto mode take me? Apparently, auto mode is liking to explore. That's okay, though. I want to explore on my own. Although, if I get lost, auto mode will know where the staircase is. Would you like to go on? Of course. I'm going to have to make a mental note not to read those stair messages all the time. Using the pickup ability, Catfish found a sleep seed. Well, now I'm glad that I have a Meowth as a partner. The sleep seed was put into the bag. And that happened. Sleepless. The Pokemon won't get the sleep, napping, yawning, or nightmare status conditions. The status wears off when the Pokemon moves to the next floor. Yeah. 
get rid of you. So, I can't fall asleep now? That was like a beneficial attack for me? Okay, just to confirm, this will take me to items, right? Oh, as well as the stairs. And in fact, it tells me that all that's left is the stairs. I want an explorer anyway. There's another enemy that spawned. Oh, Maddie's pointing out with the sleepless, I also wouldn't be able to use rest if I had it. Ah, sure enough. No more items around here. So that's actually going to be useful. This will let me know... Well, I can see my items on the map anyway, regardless, so... I'll find some sort of use for auto mode. Ah, mommy, where are you? Sniffle. We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Erica successfully completed the rescue at Tiny Woods. Yay! My baby's safe! I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately, with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Catfish. And this is Erica. Cool. He's, a uh, staring at me adoringly. The sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Also, I want to hug him. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Catfish and Erica. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Tiny Reviver Seed. Oh, and a Pekka Berry. And 500 Pokés. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Random thought. Imagine a Pokemon mystery game where you get to start as a Caterpie. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. Yeah, I feel kind of strong in this little body of mine. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Listen, Erica. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Wait, Maddie has started as a Caterpie? Let me guess, a ROM hack of some sort? Well, this is the place. Wow! I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for a Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. Yes, this. This right here. Okay, so first things first. No, Maddie did not actually start a playthrough as a Caterpie. Maddie imagined it because I said to imagine it. Anyway, like I said, I am a huge fan of transformation, but more than the transformation itself, I am a huge fan of experiencing being transformed. Right here, this character 
is experiencing what it is like to be a Pokemon. And by extension, I'm experiencing what it's like to become a Pokemon. And I want to share that experience. Like I said, I already played through the first dungeon of the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. And I stopped at this point because it's like... If this is going to be a regular occurrence during this adventure, I want to let's play this. I have been waiting quite a while to stream this game. In fact, I waited so long that, re that a remake wound up releasing. And here we are at last and I finally get to play this for you all. I am so excited. With that said, we are going to go ahead and head into our first episode break into today's stream. And when we come back, I get to live in a cave. Also, Pilot! <laughs> 